The Owen James Report is brought to you by... Good evening, this is the Owen James Report. As the reorganization of NCB continues, the banking group has announced that two additional senior members of staff will be demitting office at the end of December. They are Senior Assistant General Manager of Enterprise Underwriting Unit, Mrs. Barbara Hume, and Assistant General Manager of the Small and Medium Enterprise Unit, Mrs. Bernadette Barrow. In recent months, several senior members of staff, including financial controller Mrs. Yvonne Clark, have become casualties of a major reorganization at the NCB Group. No department, including the banking group's vital marketing department, has escaped unscathed. The reorganization is part of a comprehensive thrust to bring down the group's cost efficiency ratio from the mid-60s to the mid-50s within two years. With the euphoria surrounding Tessan Chin's ascension to the throne of NBC's The Voice, some of you may have missed important local business news, such as Derrimon Trading becoming the 20th company to list its ordinary shares on the Jamaica Stock Exchange's junior market yesterday. Now, CEO of Derrimon Trading, Derek Cottrell, in an upbeat Christian-centric speech, thanked God and his team for the company's journey and encouraged Jamaican businesses to take advantage of the opportunities afforded by the junior market. He sought to debunk the popular quotation that those who play by the rules get shafted. And there may be some truth to that, but I want to tell you that's not entirely true. You can play by the rules and be successful. And in fact, we need to break out of that old thinking and realize that we have to play by the rules to ensure that we are successful. And it is the success of each business that's going to take Jamaica to the next level. And we will succeed and we will achieve our 2030 goal of being the place to, to live and raise our families and children. Because I'm very confident in this country. I'm very confident in the people. An optimistic CEO of Dermont Trading, Derek Cottrell, there. The news on the Jamaican stock market now and gains by NCB, Grace Kennedy and some junior market companies mainly ensured a 286-point advance in the main JC index today. 25 stocks traded with 11 advancing, 10 declining and 4 holding firm. Winners included Access Financial Services. The day's big winner up 9.4%. Carreras, Grace Kennedy, Lasco Manufacturing, and NCB up 7%. The losers included Caribbean Cement, JMMB, Sagicor Investments, Scotia Group, and Scotia Investments. Tomorrow is scheduled to be a historic day for Caribbean Cement. Thursday, December 19, 2013, represents the first shipment of clinker to Venezuela. Now, this first shipment of clinker to the oil-rich South American country results from the conclusion of successful talks under the trade compensation mechanism of the Petro-Caribe Agreement. Caribbean Cement feels that this development has major implications for other industries and Jamaican exports. On the foreign exchange market, the three regularly traded international currencies strengthened against the Jamaican dollar. The benchmark American dollar gained 10 cents Jamaican, closing at an average selling rate of $106.29 Jamaican, whilst the Canadian dollar jumped by 90 cents Jamaican to close at $101.24. Sterling advanced by 71 cents Jamaican to close at an average selling rate of $174.79. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by...